solving flow issues. First, we're gonna address our bypass valve. We have our bypass valve right here. We use it for changing our filter. We're gonna make sure that it's straight down. If that doesn't work, then we are going to prime our pump. We first open our electric box and we press the pause button twice. We will then see feed on the display. At that point, we can disconnect the hose connecting our water pump to our chiller. What we do is we begin unscrewing and we will want a towel on hand and or place our hand over this to prevent spillage. So we are unscrewing. There, so we see a little water coming out. And then we will place the hose over the edge. And then we double press pause again. And we can see our water flow. This is about the level of water flow that we would expect. So that we know that our pump is working correctly. Now that we know it's working correctly, we can immediately pause again by single clicking pause. And then we are going to return the hose back to the chiller. Make sure it's nice and snug. Great. At that point, we can press pause again twice and resume our flow. All right, if we have full flow, then we're good to go. We want to let the unit run for a couple hours at that point and make sure that the water is chilling. If we do not have full flow, then we might have ice in our chiller. We wanna turn everything off for 48 hours. At that point, turn everything back on, and if we still have any issues, just reach out to us. Remember, the most common cause of this issue is connecting our hose before filling our tub. Always fill your tub before connecting your hose.